Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. So it is currently Tuesday, April 14th at 9.30 in the morning and I cannot tell you I'm up this early. My mom feels the need to wake us up at 8.45 every morning when we have school, which is Monday through Friday. And I'm not quite sure considering we literally have the whole day to do it. Um, I'm just kind of feeling groggy. I just woke up, I'm very tired. I went to bed at one and she woke me up at 8.45. <laughs> so today's math, how my school does it is every day is a different subject, but I'm pretty sure he starts his live stream at like 10 or 11. That's not for a while, Carrie. There's this girl at my school who is making like custom backgrounds for people's laptop and I asked her to make me one and she made this super cute one with like yellow everywhere and it has my logo and I love it. So thank you, Lindsay. Oh, also look at my cute little, ew, that is my toe. Look at my cute little stickers. I have my Katie's Corner sticker and some fun ones. I have so many stickers on my laptop. <laughs> I just love it. Oh, I know what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Let me hold this over here. Yesterday, me and my mountain cabin neighbor and my friend Maddie went on a three and a half mile walk in the mountains by ourselves. It was really fun, but I was so tired after. Normally my form of workout is the like elliptical at my house. And since I haven't been doing that, I haven't been working out. I didn't enjoy the walk, but I felt good after I did it, you know? It was super pretty out, so I did enjoy that. We will have our synchronous lesson tomorrow starting at 11.15 a.m. It's 9.30. Mom, do you see this? My math teacher literally says it will happen at 11.15 and you woke me up three hours early! For now, let's see what's on YouTube. Oh, and if you're wondering why my face is red, I got sunburned yesterday because it was actually, it was breezy, but there was definitely sun out. So I got some more sunburn. My face is just full of freckles, sunburn. It's great. <laughs> we love it. Should I go back to sleep till 11? I don't think I can do that. I was not blessed with the gene to be able to go back to sleep once woken up. Once I'm awake, it's game over. I had such a bad dream last night too. I just slept terribly. <laughs> saw I put on some makeup today. I could not tell you the last time I wore makeup. I'm pretty sure it was over a week ago, if not a week ago. It is now 11 10 and my call starts in five minutes. Basically my Zoom teacher just uses Microsoft Teams and hosts like a meeting I guess you could say. We are doing probability in math class right now. I just watched Orange is the New Black though. I've been watching it for two days and a month, episode 13 of season one. And that's the last episode of season one. I'll see you when this math call's over. It shouldn't be longer than an hour, hopefully. Normally they're around like 30 minutes. <laughs> Y'all, that was a 52 minute Zoom call. I have not had a call that long ever. Like normally he sticks around 30 minutes. 52 and we still have a worksheet to do and I'm behind two days in my Spanish class <laughs> I'm just not down with it math is the worst subject I have to film that main channel video and I also need to film something for a brand I think I'm gonna film my brand content that'll literally take like two seconds because I just have to do it on my phone I'm gonna be filming a what's on my iPhone today hopefully it works because if you didn't see my last main channel video I tried to film it and I didn't have enough storage on my phone so it wouldn't let me screen record I filmed the whole video not knowing that I wasn't screen recording so hopefully I can film that today it's so bright Ooh, that's what I look like y'all didn't tell me there's always such good lighting in the kitchen but i'm gonna be making my favorite snack which is just strawberries with sugar it's so good it's healthy because it's strawberries and i put no calorie sugar in mine which is stevia it's healthy for you and it tastes like candy to me i love strawberries so if you've never done this i recommend you try it y'all have seen my kitchen so much but here we are again so these strawberries are like about to go bad. <laughs> I've been eating them every day though. So we're just gonna cut the little tops off. And so many people yell at me for not using a cutting board because I just kind of go like this. I've cut myself so many times. You'd think I'd learn by now, but I don't. So here's my strawberries. I think that was like eight or seven strawberries. We have this little container full of stevia, which is the no calorie sugar. And my parents put this in their coffee and stuff. And I just take a little bit and sprinkle it on top. One, two, three, four. Hey! It's really pretty out. Maybe I should lay out. I haven't laid out in a little while, but I've been getting sun in like different ways. When we went on a boat, when I went on a walk. 
I ate some strawberries. I put on this sweatshirt and now I'm gonna film my what is on my iPhone video. I don't know if that will be up before this vlog, but if it is, go check it out. And if not, it will be coming soon. Later, I'm gonna lay outside because the UV is supposed to hit nine today, which is the highest it would have been in a very long time. So that is the goal. But I'm gonna set this camera up in the angle that I want. That looks good. Now I need some pillows because if I sit down, I'm too small. My camera battery actually ended up dying when I filmed my what's on my iPhone and I had to charge it. But after after I filmed that, I went outside to lay out. I laid out for an hour and now I'm just going to put my clothes back on and two. I just really wanted to go outside because it was so nice. It was like windy, but the UV was high. I didn't put on any sunscreen or tanning thing or anything, so hopefully I didn't get burnt. You can see my cheeks got a little red. <laughs> After this, I am probably gonna do some homework. So it's 4.45 right now, and I've been doing Spanish for the last like hour. I took two quizzes and I got ahead. I was on April 3rd. <laughs> yeah, I was behind, and now I'm on April 14th, which is today, so I'm really happy with myself. If you did not know, I'm in Spanish three, and for my school, you only have to do it two years in a row. So I took the third one I don't know why but I don't have to do it after this so that's exciting <laughs> I have to do my math worksheet that I was putting off all day and then I can chill but I finished season one of orange is the new black I know I said it in my last vlog that I started it I literally watched 13 episodes of it in two days that's what quarantine does to you guys but I really like it I recommend but only if it's age appropriate for you definitely <laughs> oh, it's beautiful outside I'm so glad I got to lay out if you're a terrible vlogger and you know it raise your hand I put this video into my computer, the clips and everything, and I did a rough cut. And when I was done rough cutting it, it was only nine minutes long. I'm sorry, but that's just not a good enough vlog for me. Vlog channel videos to me should be long. They should be like unedited. They should have a little bit of editing, but mostly be like a rough cut, you know? So I did my rough cut and it wasn't long enough for my liking. By the way, this was filmed on Tuesday. It's now Friday. <laughs> so a lot has gone on in the past uh, few days, but I wanted to make this vlog a little longer. I spent the whole morning doing schoolwork. If you didn't see my social media posts, I went to Atlanta back to my normal house just for one night. I've been doing once a week trips with my dad to do errands and stuff. I already said that, but I got back this. Why is this so dark? I want to post this vlog either today or tomorrow, but it can't be that short. So we're going to vlog a little bit today and make it longer. I posted a photo of Cole and I, and I showed my hair wrap, which I did yesterday. It took me two and a half hours and I did it by myself. And so many people were either like, that's so cute or what's on your head. This is just a hair wrap. They were super popular for me in like elementary, early, middle school you'd go on like vacation and come back with a hair wrap or like the braids with the beads do you know what i'm talking about so they kind of like made their way back resurfacing on tiktok is what i saw so i decided to do one on myself and basically it's just friendship bracelet string tied around a really skinny braid and that's what i did i think it's cute i don't know how long it's gonna last i was just bored and wanted something fun to do i've been trying to work out a little bit more and do at home workouts like i said i went on a three and a half mile walk earlier this week i did a chloe ting workout which is basically she has a youtube channel and does workouts like that Oh, I also painted my nails. They're so ratchet. Please don't look at them. It's regular nail polish and it's like purple. I never wear purple. I don't have a problem with purple, but I feel like it makes me look a little goth. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being goth either. I'm on such a tangent. Basically, I'm going to work out and I'm going to do... Now I'm too pale. Basically, I'm gonna work out and do another Chloe Ting workout. They're, they range between like 12 and 20 minutes, I'd say, and they're really nice. It's easy, it's at home. You can do it by yourself. You don't need fancy equipment. Okay, so I think... Oh my gosh, I have too much in this upper area. <laughs> I was just blessed in this area. Just this area though, nowhere else. <laughs> I think it was in my last vlog, I was talking about my Old Spice deodorant and how I feel like it does good things for me. Like it smells good, but it doesn't keep me not smelly all day. So I brought up my Dove spray deodorant from my Atlanta house. This stuff is really good too. I just don't really like spray deodorant. I don't know, it's kind of weird to me, but we're gonna test this and see if I like it because it's almost empty anyway. I thought I'd just talk really quick to you guys. I've been trying to work out a little bit more and it's not even for me like working out. I don't love working out, but I do it because I feel good afterwards. I've seen a lot of stuff on social media where people are like, I've been gaining weight during quarantine. I've lost five pounds. <laughs> I've just lost five pounds since we've been on quarantine and I'm happy about that. It's not like I've been striving to lose weight, but now that I've lost like five pounds, I want to lose more if I can. I've always been like happy with the way I look, but I hate my stomach. <laughs> I just feel like I have man arms and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just something I'm insecure about and also just like 
my belly weight, obviously. I'm like working out and eating less and a little healthier. So hopefully we'll see if this makes any difference. I'm not saying you need to work out or eat less. You're perfect the way you are. I know I'm perfect the way I am, but it just feels good. You know, when you're losing weight, it's like, oh yeah, this is awesome. Especially when it's something you've been wanting to do for a while. So I just want to put that out there. <laughs> Manifest some good things, but let me clean this lens. It's really dirty. This is the fit. It's just my Nike sports bra. And then these are just some sweat shorts from Shelly Cove. Don't judge my body, okay? <laughs> we love everybody's here. Everybody's a beautiful body. So I'm just out in the downstairs family room. My room is behind that door. If you've never seen like the cabin before. I know Chloe Ting did like a two week shred ab challenge or something like that. And a lot of influencers were participating in it. I'm not doing that. I just like to go onto her YouTube channel and find one of the workouts. I'm thinking about starting it though because I think it's ended by now. I think it ended yesterday, but you can always just like go and do it. She's 5 million subscribers, so that kind of says something. She's doing something. I'm just going to choose one that I see on her page, and I'm just going to do 10 minute standing abs workout. Get ripped abs. Don't judge the way that I do this, okay? I'm just doing this for fun. I'm trying new things. Come on, Chloe. Give me some abs. The scene them they got my queen bee swinging to my son that as I lay back. It's how I want it in a minute. She wrote something that stink good, feeling haunted the way she goes. Then I make eye contact. Both of our tummies making the same tune. Heat up the grill and we filling up with the same food. She attempted so that one was honestly pretty easy. That was mostly just like cardio, and I don't think I did a good job capturing like my whole body. So it might look like I'm not doing as much as I actually am, but I couldn't really find a good place to put my tripod. I got my heart pumping, it was like a good 10 minute warm up. Now I'm gonna do some of my own workout. I like to follow like a thing just so I can know I'm doing something right and then sometimes I'll just do my own I just did a few of those ab workouts 25 times each and it just gets your heart moving if you feel the burn in your core that's my little at home workout that was probably about 20 minutes today that was just like a little cardio i like to do it it makes me feel good my brother just told me i have a package if it's what i think it is i'm about to be very exciting is that my package <laughs> this is not the package that i was hoping for but it's something for our family yeah it's a bunch of board games Ooh. okay there's like this board game company that sends my family and I lots of board games. And since we're all stuck up here, this is great. Rumming Coop, bring people together. I don't know. Mastermind, Code Breaker, and then Sequence. This looks like a fun family game. We have Sequence, Katie. We have Sequence? Look at the box over there. We have two Sequences. <laughs> Thank you to them. I forget the company name. I think it's called Epic Games. Epic Games made Fortnite. Actually, I don't know. It's something like that. <laughs> what are you doing? Here is our board game collection. Let me take this giant box into the garage. Also, I wanted to show you guys this. I was on Instagram Live a few days ago and I was showing y'all, but for the people who don't follow me on Instagram or didn't see that live, my dad built an ax throwing board. If y'all don't know, throwing ax is like a big trend right now, so he built one himself. It's tall. This is probably like 10 or 11 feet tall. Look how giant that is. So we ordered axes off Amazon. <laughs> don't demonetize me, YouTube. That's where you aim for. Maybe I'll do a vlog of us like ax throwing. <laughs> None of us have ever done it before. Before, but you know we're just looking for things to do at home. You put soda cans in your hands? Oh that God. rhyme. Ew, why is it orange? That's dish soap. Oh, I thought that was from the dirtiness. Talk to my oh. vlog. Oh, I'll let you go. I just want to complain for a second. TikTok is literally bodyist. Is bodyist a word? You know, like sexist? TikTok is bodyist. All these tiny girls who don't have boobs get on the For You page of them doing the same dance. But if I do the same dance because I have boobs, they won't post mine. It'll be under for a review. That's so annoying. They're boobist. They're boobist. TikTok is boobist. Bruh, I literally go on TikTok and Charlie D'Amelio is wearing the same sports bra as me. Look, she has that sports bra. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't get taken down. This is my like new favorite TikTok sound. I just think it's so cute. It gives me happy vibes. I just worked out, so I feel 
the need to share or else it didn't happen. Thank you guys for watching this. Hopefully you enjoyed this kind of chill two day vlog. I know the days were really spread apart, but my bad. Go check out my main channel. We are close to 500K. I'm trying so hard to get there and go comment on that TikTok if it ever posts. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay happy, safe, and healthy, and I'll see you in my next vlog. Peace in the Middle East.